I recently was in America and I popped into <laughs> Sephora <laughs> and spent way too much money on things that I definitely don't need but I really like the look of and I think they'll be great so I'm going to share them with you today. I'm going to run through things quite quickly because there's quite a lot. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Modern Renaissance Palette. Oh my god, I've been using this so much. It is incredible. The colours just blend beautifully. They're so creamy. This makes my like heart feel a bit like tight in a good way because I love it so effing much. I picked up two of the Tarte Minis. Um, if you've ever been to Sephora, on your way to the till, they have the section with all the minis, which is... I don't think it is possible to resist it. I think they've like put something in it that has made me compelled to buy small things. And also I think Tarte is amazing. So I was like, yes, I don't have these in my collection. So I have the Tarte Pro To Go, which is um, these six little colors. I'm not entirely sure why two of them are circular and four of them are square, but I'm fine with that. It's a handy little have on the go jobby. And then I also picked up the Tease Tarte Lip Palette and that is six more shades. Looking at them, did I need to have both of these? No, although one is warm tone and one is cool tone. So yeah, yeah, I did these. <sighs> I wanted something nice for my skin because whenever I go into Sephora, I just buy lips and eyes stuff. So I asked the lady for a bit of assistance and she was great. And I picked up the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturiser, like talk about throwback. Do you remember when all the bloggers were like losing their minds over a bit of Laura Mercier Tinted Moist? moisturizer and I have this in shade nude um, I'm looking forward to trying this in the summer when I've got a tan because I wear fake tan and when I have a tan I don't really need a full coverage um, what's this stuff called foundation so I'm looking forward to trying this I wasn't going to do this but I treated myself to the origins make a difference plus uh, rejuvenating moisturizer um, since trying this I found another moisturizer that I really like that's about a hundred percent cheaper and this is so expensive, but oh my god, it's so nice. It's the smell that gets me. I've used this quite a few times before. Let's just have a look. Oh no. Both my fingers have gone in. Oh, now they're all soggy. Oh, oh smells good though. Oh my god. <laughs> Joe should use this for... Can someone send this clip to Joe for his next innuendo bingo? I don't know what to do with my soggy lid flap but just pop that on right so this moisturizer amazing one of my favorite things to do in the bath is to have these eye masks i've bought tons of these before from sephora but usually they're a full sheet of your face but these are just like like this and they just go under your eyes and my eyes are the things that feel the tiredest a lot and all the skin around them so i'm looking forward to like treating myself to a bath bomb and some candles and maybe a bit of netflix Oh, I'm putting these on, lovely. I've had one of these before and I've lost it and I'm devastated. I was sent it to my PO box and it was brilliant. If this is the Foreo Luna Play and I'm not gonna describe this as well as like a proper beauty vlogger would, but it's like a tiny vibrator for your face. It's got a button at the back here and it's vibrating. Can you hear that? Yeah, you can. And it has all these little tiny like silicone fingers you put your stuff on your face to cleanse so i put cleansing balm on a little bit of water and then i do this on my face as well and it just gets it exfoliates it feels amazing when you wipe off your the balm with like, hot water your skin just feels so much like more bouncy it's just bloody great i absolutely love it i should probably talk more about this in another video because i know i know a lot of you will be like what is this but oh google a review or something amazing look what else i picked up in sephora it's a baby boy cat. Yes, he's a baby boy cat. He hates me, bye. After seeing so much hype from people about the hourglass highlighters, I picked up two of them. I should have just bitten the bullet and just got the trio. I don't know why I didn't. I got Diffuse Light, which is this absolutely gorgeous one. I'll have to do a little swatchy for you. Um, oh, it's like I've rubbed crushed pearls on my face. And also Luminous Bronze Light. It has a bit more colour to it, it's a bit more golden. Oh my god. Could these be the replacement for Soft and Gentle, which is my all-time favourite highlighter? 
I don't know. I'll come back in a few months and let you know. I'm looking forward to trying these. I won't open this because you've all seen what mascara looks like, but I picked up the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara in a mini. I've got the big one, um, it's dried up, it's old now, it needs to be thrown away. And I absolutely love it, so I picked up the mini for when I'm travelling because then I can just keep it in my little travel bag and I don't have to worry too much about, about mascara, it's already there. And I know that I like it, so I was like, yeah, great. Again, I got sucked in by the minis, didn't I? This is a purchase I think I might regret. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer. Since buying this, I've discovered how much I love the Benefit Goof Proof um, brow pencil. So I'm not sure I have a need for this, but it's got the spoolie and then, oh, actually, it's the same shape as the Goof Proof one, but it looks like a much cooler tone. I just heard such great things about Beverly Hills Brow Definer, brow stuff, or maybe it's the brow pomade. I'm gonna say brow again, that I got sucked into buying it. Let me know if you've got this. I bought it, by the way, in the shade medium brown. Note to self and anybody else that ever wants to make a beauty haul video, do all the packaging before you start. Oh, everything's got so much packaging on it. It's like peeling an orange in 65 little bits. Oh! <laughs> a lipstick! I bought this lipstick from the Sephora's own range and this is in... Brilliant! I've peeled off all the stuff now. Hang on, I've got a spare because I bought Auntie Judith one. It is in shade Love You Too. That's nice, isn't it? And it looks like a really nice pinky sort of you but your lips look better. Well, no, it just looks like a nice dolly pink. I don't think that's your lips for better. I think it's just lovely. I swatched it, I liked it. And I thought my Auntie Judith would like that colour too because it's not too much it's not too like vivid but it is lipstick that's on it's not invisible i also bought this one which is a hot tango cream it's basically a really lovely red i really like the formula of sephora lipsticks they don't feel too wet and like oily like a balm but they don't feel really drying and they don't make your lips look like a dried up cat's bum hole. They just sort of like look really nice. So I'm happy with that. And that is it. That's my Sephora haul. I shouldn't be allowed to go to America because every time I'm like a homing pigeon, I will find a Sephora and I will spend too much money in there. So that is my little luxury beauty splurge. I won't be allowing myself to do that for a long time. And I will see you all soon. I would love to know what beauty videos you want me to do because I'd like to be doing some more but what do you want to see? Do you want to see like collection videos or organisation videos or hauls or me actually putting makeup on my face? Let me know. Uh, lots of links below including the pre-order link to my new book which I would love you to read. It's fun and uh, it's about a woman that you will like. Okay, see you later. Bye!